हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई सी अकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड हिस्टोग्राम मैचिंग इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी अंडरस्टूड अबाउट हिस्टोग्राम इक्वलाइजेशन एंड हिस्टोग्राम इक्वलाइजेशन इज अ गुड अप्रोच बिकॉज द मेथड ऑफ इंप्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ हिस्टोग्राम इक्वलाइजेशन इज वेरी सिंपल सो हिस्टोग्राम इक्वलाइजेशन वॉज अ वेरी सिंपल मेथड टू इम्प्लीमेंट हिस्टोग्राम इक्वलाइजेशन इज नॉट अप्लीकेबल फॉर सम अप्लीकेशंस सो वी कैन से हिस्टोग्राम इक्वलाइजेशन इज नॉट अ बेस्ट अप्रोच फॉर सम अप्लीकेशंस बिकॉज हिस्टोग्राम इक्वलाइजेशन इज अप्लाइड टू एंटायर इमेज सो इट इज नॉट सूटेबल इफ वी विश टू एनहैंस ए स्पेसिफिक रीजन ऑफ एन इमेज सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू एनहैंस ए स्पेसिफिक रीजन ऑफ एन इमेज so we can't apply histogram equalization that's why we'll go with a new approach which is histogram matching which is also known as histogram specification histogram matching or histogram specification is a method that is used to generate a processed image that has a specified histogram which means the goal of histogram matching is to take an input image and generate an output image that is based upon the shape of the specific histogram or reference histogram so generally we can say if we have histogram 1 and histogram 2 so we need to match histogram 1 with histogram 2 this figure shows how histogram matching can be achieved here the mapping is done from r of k to s of k we know in the x axis we are having the input image pixels and in the y axis we are having output image pixels so this is the transfer function based upon the equation s is equal to t of r here we are matching r of k value with s of k first we will take r1 that is matched with s1 then we will take r2 that will be matched with s2 and so on we will match a pixel rk with s k now we'll take one more transformation which is g of z this is the transformation function that is obtained from the probability distribution function values of r of k so depending upon the values of r of k which is the probability distribution function of r of k g of z is designed here a pixel value zq is mapped with vq if we compare these two diagram if vq value is approximately equal to sk value we can take the inverse transformation and we can map sk with this z value so that is what the histogram mapping is happening here here if vq value is same as sk value then we'll take the inverse transformation and map this s value with z so this is what it is happening here sk is mapped with zk so the name is given as zk because it is mapped with sk so this is the same value as z so what is happening here if we take this transformation in this graph itself let us write here and this is the point where it is intersecting let us say this as zq if you see here if we map rk we are getting sk and for zq also we are getting sk here so that's why instead of mapping sk to rk we will take the inverse transform and map it to zq so that is the process that is happening here so sk is mapped to zk taking the inverse mapping to understand this graph let us take a simplified example let us take an histogram of an image and let us take one more specified histogram or reference histogram so these two histogram values should be mapped now let us say if we perform histogram equalization on this transfer function we'll get a flat profile like this again if we perform histogram equalization on this transfer function we'll get a flat profile like this now the histogram equalization value of this input histogram and the specified histogram are similar that's why to map the input histogram value with this specified histogram value 
will perform histogram equalization then the inverse of that histogram equalization will produce the mapping with the specified histogram. For example, let us say the value here 9 is mapped to 12 in the histogram equalized flat profile. Let us say for this some value let us say for example 20 is also mapped to 12. So, what we can do? 9 can be mapped to 12 and 20 can also be mapped to 12 that is why we will take the histogram equalization of 9 that will produce 12 and we can take the inverse of this value to get the value as 20 and we can map 9 to 20. So, this is the process that is happening in histogram matching. Now, let us understand the example of histogram equalization. So, here we will take an image which is very dark image. So, this is the photo that is taken by NASA. So, this image is a very dark image and if we take histogram of this image, we will get the histogram values that will be placed at 0. 0 is nothing but black. So, this specifies this image consists of more black pixels compared to other pixel values. Now, this image is not clearly visible. If we perform histogram equalization on this image, so we will get this output. So, this is the transfer function of histogram equalization. If you observe after histogram equalization, we will get a bright image that is again not clearly visible. We call this image as washed out image. So, this is the histogram after equalization. So, to overcome this problem, we will go with uh, histogram matching. In histogram matching, we will take a reference transfer function. For this reference transfer function, we will take the histogram equalization. Once we get the histogram equalization of this transfer function, we will take the inverse histogram values. You can see, so this graph 2 represents the inverse histogram values of uh, this graph 1. Now, we will map the input pixel values with this inverse value to perform the histogram matching. So, this is the result of uh, histogram matching. So, after performing histogram matching, the image is clearly visible. If you compare with these two images, this is having a clear visibility. So, this is one of the example of histogram matching. This is about histogram matching. Hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.